first versus second, Dortmund versus Bayern, De Classiqueur. I think that's how you say it, is it? Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund series on FM21. I hope you're well. As I said, today we have a massive game. We have Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga, the first meeting of the season. And one massive thing to get out of the way straight away is the injury news for Bayern Munich. Robert Lewandowski is out. Not playing. Definitely out. You hate to see it, but you also love to see it. Hopefully he recovers, of course, but it's great news for us when going into this game. The table currently looks like this then. We're four points ahead. We won the game against Paderborn offline. We've beaten 4-2 in a very weird game. We were 4-0 up after 20 minutes. Seemed to create loads after that. Couldn't score anything. And then they scored a goal where they won the ball back from our defence and then Donnarumma scored an own goal. So it was a bit of a weird game that we should have won 6 or 7 nil, but ended up winning 4-2. But we'll take it. A first half hat-trick from Erling Haaland he scored 31 goals now this season it, it's getting it's getting mad now he scored 39 the whole of last season anyway after 14 games we're four points clear Bayern Munich beat Hertha Berlin in their last game another thing to note that after 14 games they've only conceded seven goals they haven't conceded more than one goal in any game this season we on the other hand have conceded 17 we know how we play on the front foot and play attacking and that calculated risk but that does mean that we can be a bit vulnerable on the counter-attack at times and you can see the best team here Leipzig managed to score three against us hopefully Bayern can't do that again today last season we played them three times and we beat them in every single time I don't think they scored more than one goal in any of the games so defensively we seem to have them on lock but hopefully attacking wise we can get the goals more than one than any other team this season and get the points over the line we have scored 48 I think about 30 of those or how many let's have a look a lot of them have been from Erling Haaland he scored 31 goals in all comps as we said in the league then 24 of our 48 goals he scored half of our goals but the fact we scored 48 goals in 14 appearances is just mad. You would have seen at the end of the last episode that Guerrero got injured against AC Milan. So he's going to be out for three weeks. And that is not ideal when you've got a game as big as Bayern Munich now. Nico Schulz is having to come in at left back. Played all right against Paderborn. And does seem to play okay when we bring him in. But he's just... He's just not that good. So <laughs> he's got a lot of pace, if, if nothing else. But he's going to come in today and play at left back. And the whole team looks like this then. Donnarumma in goal. Munier at right back because Hakimi's still not back to full fitness. Hummels is coming in because he's getting angry about not starting that many games. And he is a good defender despite his pace. He's going to take the right centre-back position. Garcia, the left centre-back position, again, because he wants to be starting more games. We're kind of keeping people happy at this point in time. And that might be a bad idea against a team of this standard. And actually, we're going to take Garcia out. What am I saying? We're not going to play Garcia. We're going to play Luis Felipe. He's definitely been our standout defender this season and with his pace to couple that with Hummel's complete lack of pace hopefully we, he, he can make up for it slightly so he's going to start on the left centre-back row. We've mentioned Nico Schulz already. Emre Chan and Witzel in the centre so again a bit more of a two defensive minded players instead of playing Jude Bellingham in here because if Jude Bellingham likes to get forward and isn't too great defensively. He makes some good tackles and does track back a lot of the time but Witzel from a defensive point of view I think is a lot better so he's going to play that box-to-box -box role. Emre Chan in the ball in the midfielder role and then the normal front for Sancho, Royce and Julian Brand behind Erling Haaland up top. If Erling Haaland doesn't score today, we're not going to win. I think it's that simple, but he's been scoring for fun recently. Hopefully he can keep that up again today. Matt Hummel's still a bit low on that sharpness, but we can we can take him out if needed. I think he has got the experience and the calibre to play and he, he was very good last season, so hopefully he can keep it up again coming back into the side. It's going to be a tough game against the best team in the league. They've got a key injury or two though, so hopefully we can get the job done. Here we go then. Here are the teams and the graphics. I still love these graphics. Bayern Munich then. Who are they going to start up top? I didn't even look at the team sheet. So Thomas Muller is actually starting up top. Asensio is coming and playing on the left-hand side for them. Serge Gnabry on the right. Interesting they've come with a DM. Maybe uh, not as attacking as we are. We are staying with our positive mentalities. So hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. I think Bayern Munich won some sort of unbeaten run at the moment as well because they just don't lose. They seem to draw quite a lot. And of course, we saw they lost two games already, but they very rarely lose. And they don't concede, really. They've got an early chance here, only a minute in. Asensio with the corner. Sula's there. And Goretzka has headed it back across and it's come off the back of Thomas Munier and gone in. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just I don't even know what to say. Essentially, with the corner, puts it into a good area. Sula beats two of our players. Munier's not even looking at the ball. And what a way to start. We haven't lost to Bayern Munich yet, and that could be about to change. They've started very well here. Ten minutes gone. They're coming forward again. Serge Gnabry has it on this right-hand side. Plays it on the line to Kimmich, into Muller. Tries to play the 1-2, but Schulz covers really well. 
plays it back into Donnarumma then. We can build from the back, start again and reset. He plays it forward long to Sancho, really well brought down. He finds Munier. Munier plays it long into Erling Haaland. The header on to Julian Brandt, who's in. He loves a goal against Bayern Munich and he scores again. What a finish from Julian Brandt. What a header on from Erling Haaland. And we get ourselves back level after 10 minutes. We were only behind for 8 minutes. But the whole build-up play was really well. The nice link-up play between Sancho and Munier into Haaland. The header on. And then Julian Brandt. One touch. Finish in the corner. What a finish as well. Just off the inside of the post. 1-1. Into Sula in the centre. He plays it forward. Muller's there. Oh, well done from Ramos. Luis Felipe to clean it up. Finds Hummels. Plays it forward to Julian Brandt on the left-hand side. Tries to thread it through to Erling Haaland who gets there. And Erling Haaland has turned this game on his head. 13 minutes gone. We are now 2-1 up after being 1-0 down. What has happened? Erling Haaland scored again. 32nd goal of the season. 7 off his whole total of last season. Really well worked goal. Hummels out wide to Julian Brandt. The ball through. I'm not sure how the defender hasn't beaten Haaland to it. A very similar finish to the Julian Brand goal and 2-1 after 14 minutes. We're just so good. Thomas Munier with the throw and then into Sancho. Only a minute gone since we last scored. Sancho plays it forward to Erling Haaland now. Is he going to get another one here? He's driving through on goal. Shoots from distance and Neuer claims it well. Had a bit of curve on it. Ended up in the middle of the goal by the time it reached it. And it's all us at the moment. Our, X our XG of only 0 0.37 apparently but have managed to score two. Both quite difficult finishes off the inside of the far post. But the time is ticking. 30 minutes in. I've noticed I've brought in Ruben Neves to play in the DM role. We've got a corner though. Royce with the corner, then he whips it in. Is it going to come from anything? Talisa clears it away. Emre Chan got all the time in the world to pick it up after that. He runs down the right wing. Might try and look to put a crossing here. I'm not sure who, who that is trying to track him, but he plays it into Sancho. His shot blocked, and now it looks like Bayern Munich might be able to build something here. Sancho back to Hernandez into David Alaba. Plays it back into his keeper, who's great with the ball at his feet. They have no worries about playing it back to him. But we're able to win it back with Nico Schulz now. Kind of dawdling on it a bit. Doesn't really know what to do. Plays it back into Ramos. Already on a yellow card. Not ideal. Back into Nico Schulz and going centrally with it. Plays it into Julian Brandt. Into Erling Haaland. Can he find Julian Brandt again? A nice one too. This guy just loves scoring against Bayern Munich. He scores again. I was wondering what Nico Schulz was doing when he was coming so central. But he was integral to finding Haaland. The nice one too. And Julian Brandt again going across Neuer. So they've obviously watched that Neuer is dodgy when you go across him because every goal has been in the same corner from the left-hand side shooting across the goal and we are 3-1 up. Asensio has it for Bayern Munich now into Muller back to Tolisso they're playing it a bit faster now may have upped the tempo Kimmich is in the box here they seem to have a lot of players unmarked but Goretzka now has it Schulz tackles him well I thought it might have been a penalty, but he does win the ball. Maybe we can launch some sort of counter-attack here. Nico Schulz with his pace. He's got all the way, though, to the uh, crossing position now. Gnabry chased him all the way back. Schulz into Julian Brand now. Back to Nico Schulz. Nice one, too. Back to Julian Brand. Can he get a ha hat-trick? First half hat-trick. Finds Munier. And we continue at 3-1. Hernandez now has it for Bayern Munich. Tolisso. Goretzka. Wow. They are zipping it around really fast now. Goretzka now has it. Switching it out wide to Kimmich. Nico Schulz, I back him to stay with him. Whether he can win the ball might be another question. Gnabry has it centrally into Goretzka. Back to Muller. Gnabry ghosted in now. He's through on goal and he finishes. And that is 3-2. 34 minutes gone. A very well-worked goal from Bayern Munich. But there's been five goals after 35 minutes. Gnabry, Muller and Goretzka playing it really well between themselves. I'm not really sure how Gnabry's found himself so much space there. Kind of ghosted in in between Schulz and uh, the centre-back, which would have been Luis Felipe on the left-hand side. 3-2. All to play for, and we haven't even reached half time. Goretzka into Gnabry now. They're building again here. Muller's found a gap in between the two centre halves. Ramos does really well to win the ball, though, and we could build something here ourselves. Hummels plays it long into Julian Brandt. Who can he find now? Can he find Erling Haaland? But he's played it out wide to Sancho, who's tried to look for Erling Haaland, but the pass had too much weight on it, and it goes through to Manuel Neuer, who claims it easily. He's hit it long then, and start, instead of uh, distributing it short, his centre backs did show for him. He hasn't gone for it. Gnabry now has it into Muller. Goretzka. This, we can't seem to live with this high tempo passing when they get into our territory. So we might have to look at countering that. But Haaland's in now. And Haaland has scored again. I'm not sure which centre back it was that gave that away. I think it was Hernandez who gave it away in the Bayern Munich last third. And Erling Haaland scores again. Yeah, Hernandez gives it straight to him. Through on goal. And again, another finish. Exactly the same as the previous three beforehand. Across the keeper, just off the inside of the post. 4-2. And again, it's not even half time yet. Our XG is only just over one. And we've scored four goals. Wow. Okay. That's half time. 
I feel like I need to lie down, but we'll, we'll carry on. They're, they're XG 0.5 and they've scored two. I'm not really sure what's going on. They hadn't conceded more than one goal in a game before we had turned up. And we've put four past them in the first half. I'm very pleased with, with your performance. We're going to keep everything the same at the moment because, of course, we are winning. However, I'm inclined to go a bit more defensive and try and settle for what we've got because they're very dangerous and they seem to grow into the game towards the end of that first half, creating a few more chances and, of course, getting themselves on the score sheet. And as they up the tempo near our box, we couldn't seem to live with it. But while I've been talking, we've got to the 70th minute without anything happening. We will make some changes now. And what we're going to do, we're going to take Royce off for Jude Bellingham and we're going to drop Vitzel. Actually, no, we're going to drop Emre Chan into this defensive midfield role. Bellingham into here and actually swap these two and make him a box-to-box -box and Vitzel, the deep-lying playmaker. So we've got a nice solid three in there now. Balanced as well. This might, this might be a bad idea. With 15 minutes to go, we have gone a bit more defensive. We might invite them on slightly more, but 10 minutes to go. Emre Chan has taken a knock. A replacement with Thomas Delaney, that's fine. Vitzel also very tired in the centre, but we don't think we have any more subs, do we? I think we only get three this time around. Yeah, we don't have any more subs, so we'll have to just see it out. Five minutes to go. I can't see Bayern Munich getting two. We haven't had a single highlight at all. Look, we're into stoppage time. It's going to be the end of the game. And we're going to win it 4-2. That is the end of the game. Not a single highlight in that second half. We win the game 4-2 against Bayern Munich. After an action-packed first half, nothing to show in the second half at all. We went a bit defensive, as you can see. I thought we were in danger of inviting too much pressure onto us. But Bayern Munich didn't do anything, didn't create anything in that second half. They really missed Lewandowski up top. But those scares towards the end of the first half where they got their two goals, they couldn't do any more than that. We win it 4-2, extend our lead at the top of the table to seven points. And it's all looking very good at the top of the Bundesliga. So there we have it then, guys. That is going to be the end of today's episode. I need to lie down. Just after that first half performance, nothing happened in the second half. I could have gone for my lie down way earlier. But thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash that like button below. It really does mean a lot. And make sure you subscribe and stick those notifications on. As I said, we're aiming for 500 subs by Christmas. And that would be mad if we can get there. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you very soon for the next episode.